So I just wanted to show this little game that I made. Um, it's a small 80s parcel style labyrinth game and it uses ChatGPT to generate rooms, enemies and pickups and also the game text. And it's all based on the character you create uh, and the current state of the game. The state of the game, like position, health, inventory and so on, is handled locally on a player's computer and this information is in, included in the prompts that are sent to, to GPT. So, please enter your name. So I'm going to be Lex Lightning. What role would you like your character have, to have? So I'm going to be a rock star. Guitar hero. Can you please describe how your character looks? So he's going to have long blonde hair, raggy jeans, and a flannel shirt. So what's the ultimate motive of your character? This is the motive of completing the labyrinth. So his motive is to finally land that major record deal. What is your character's attack weapon? He's going to have an electric guitar, of course. An electric guitar of shiny diamonds. What's your character's defensive armor of choice? A flannel shirt, of course. A flannel shirt of love. Can you please describe the bombs? So you have also have bombs in the game. Um, he will have the bomb of a million guitar licks. Okay, so uh, the character stats. So you have 20 points to spend. I will spend 7 on power. 8 on the reflex. Which will create the character for you. Uh, based on the two, two first. So would you like GPT to generate a random labyrinth theme based on your character? Yes. So it's the rock star's labyrinth of musical theme. Okay. So here's the these are rooms that he is creating now. So you have the amplifier trap, the melody maze, the deafening halls, the jukebox puzzle, <laughs> the sound wave dungeon. Uh, yeah, and this is all based on the mainly on the on the theme, but also on the, the motivation uh, of the character. So here are the enemies you will be meeting in the labyrinth. So the stringed shadows, the rhythmic horde, the amplifier brutes, the melodic mercenaries. The guitar goes. Sometimes he wants to do these rhymes, like the he wants the first the first character of the words to be the same. <clears throat> okay, so here here's the um, here's the pickups for your guitar. You have your Dan and Tremolo system, guitar tone control, Dan and Strap loads. Okay, here's the pickups for the flannel shirts. So you have your love resistant fabric flannel cufflinks leather elbow patches <laughs> okay okay and then the game starts so the point of the game is to get the keys on all four corners of the labyrinth as lex lightning enters the first room of the labyrinth the audio-visual nightmare, he's immediately struck by the overwhelming assault on his senses. The walls are adorned with pulsating neon lights and blaring speakers, and the air is thick with the scent of stale cigarette smoke and sweat. Despite the chaos, Lex can see a motionless figure lying on the ground, its eyes frozen open in terror. As he approaches, he realizes that it is one of the labyrinth enemies, the amplifier assassins, slain by a previous adventurer. Lex's heart 
races as he contemplates the challenges that lies ahead. He knows that he must navigate through a series of treacherous rooms, each one more dangerous than the last, in order to reach his ultimate goal, landing a major record deal. It won't be easy, but he's determined to succeed. So, uh, you can know, so he can walk to, to the west, east and south. I will go west. <clears throat> okay. As lax lightning moves through the labyrinth, he enters a new room, the air thick with the sound of pulsating sound waves. The room is dimly lit with shadows dancing across the walls. Suddenly he hears the sound of footsteps approaching. Out of the darkness a group of enemies emerges, their faces twisted into malicious grins. These are the melodic mercenaries and they are determined to stop Lex from reaching his goal. So, uh, he can also spot something glinting in the corner. It's the Rockstar pin collection. <laughs> a defense armor pickup that could give him an edge in the battle to come. Okay, so, I will... What? So, now I have to uh, say, decide what to do next. So, I will... Attack by swinging my guitar in their head. In their heads, I guess. As Lex Lightning swings his, swings his gu electric guitar of shiny diamond with all his might, aiming for their, the heads of the melodic mercenaries. He rolls a 7 and adds reflex score of 8 for total to hit score of 15. They roll a 9, adding 7 for total to block score of 16, so they block the attack. This means that it's their turn to retaliate, so I have to say how I defend myself. So I dive behind a table. As the melodic mercenaries launch their attack, Lex quickly dives behind a nearby table, using it as cover. The melodic mercenaries roll 8 and add their re reflex of 7, total to hit score of 15. Uh, he def defends himself with his trusty flannel shirt of love, rolling a 5 and adding his reflex of 8 for total to block of 13. So I'm hit, and you can see my health is going down. Um, so I'm hurt. Okay, I will... Um, um, get up from cover and attack with a flying guitar swing. Lex Lightning leaps up from behind the table, his electric guitar of shiny diamonds at the ready. He swings it with all his might, aiming for the melodic mercenaries. He rolls a 10 and adds his reflex of 8 for total to hit score of 18. So I hit them, I guess. He rolls a 2, adding his power score of 7 for total score of 9. They had 16 health. Okay, these are this is a difficult enemy. So I know I have to duck under their attack. As the melodic <clears throat> mercenaries launch their attack, Lex Lightning quickly ducks under the swing. The melodic mercenaries roll 6 and add 7, for total to hit of 13. Lex's quick reflexes save him once again. So, I'm gonna use... gonna throw a bomb. Lex Lightning quickly reaches into his bag and pulls out his Bomb of a million guitar licks. He lights the fuse and hurls it towards the melodic mercenaries, who are caught off guard by the sudden attack. The bomb explodes in a dazzling display of sound and light, sending shockwaves throughout the room. They try to defend themselves, but to no avail. They had 11 health points, now they have zero left, so they are dead. So let's look in the room. 
So the way this works is when I write look at room, I send this uh, input to uh, ChatGPT to classify it into one of the available commands of the game. And sometimes it doesn't respond with the correct command. And that's why you can see I write something and nothing happens. So let's try one more time. Look at room. Okay, Lex Lightning <clears throat> takes a closer look around the room, searching for something specific. It spots a glint of light in the corner and moves closer to investigate. As he approaches, he realizes that it's a rock star pin collection. Oh yeah, yeah, the pin collection. Let's pick up the pin collection. The pins are intricately designed, each one depicting a different symbol of rock and roll. <laughs> he knows that this item could give him an edge in future battles, and he is grateful to have found it. So he attaches the pins to his shirt, which gives him a plus one to body for five times. Okay. And um, I will go up now, next. So, Lex Lightning climbs up a set of stairs and enters a dimly lit room filled with ominous shadows. As he looks around, he notices a group of amplifier brutes lurking in the shadows, their glowing eyes fixated on him. He grips his electric guitar of shiny diamonds tightly, ready for whatever comes his way. The amplifier brutes look, look formidable, their imposing figures towering over him. He also spots a diamond pickguard. <laughs> diamond pickguard. Okay, so I will um, take a running start and jump kick the enemy. Lex Lightning takes a running start and leaps into the air, his electric guitar of shiny diamonds flashing in the light. He lands a powerful jump kick on the brutes, who tries to defend themselves, but are unable to withstand the force of the attack. So I get 17, and they have 8, so I land the attack. He rolls 3, adds 7, total score of 10. They had 14 health, and now they only have 6 left. So <clears throat> I will duck under their attack. Lex Lightning quickly ducks under their swing. The Amplifier Brutes roll 2 and add their reflex of 7, a total 2 hit score of 9. Diff defends himself with his trusty flannel shirt of love, rolling a 10, adding 8. Yes, so 10 is me again. I will um, swing the guitar in a ferocious attack. Striking the amplifier brutes with all his might. Rolls 8, adds 8. Total to hit of 16. So I uh, hit them again. Rolls 9, adds 7 for total score of 16. The amplifier deducts their body armor of 2 from the damage, but still takes 14 points of total damage. So they are now dead. The amplifier brutes are killed, and Lex emerges victorious. He takes a moment to catch his breath feeling a sense of pride at having defeated such a formidable opponent. So, pick up the pick guard. The pick guard is made of a rare and valuable metal, and its intricate design catches Lex's eyes. He knows that this item could give him an edge in future battles. So he, he attaches the diamond pick guard. It gleams in the light, and Lex feels a sense of confidence in wielding such a powerful weapon. So this will this gave me plus three to power for one. One third. So I lost some health in the previous battle, so I'm just gonna drink a potion. Lex Lightning uncorks a health potion and takes a long swig 
feeling its rejuvenating effect course through his body. He feels his energy level rise as the potion invid invigorates him, restoring his vitality. So, yes. I'm back to 50 health points, so now I'm gonna go east. <clears throat> Lex Lightning steps into a dark and airy room filled with the remnants of broken guitars and rusted strings. As he looks around, he notices a group of guitar ghouls lurking in the shadow, their glowing eyes fixated on him. He grips his electric guitar of shiny diamonds tightly ready for whatever comes his way. The guitar ghouls look menacing, their skeletal figures swaying back and forth as they prepare to attack. Lex knows that he must stay focused if he hopes to emerge victorious. Okay, so... Um, attack with my shiny new Guitar, uh, Picard, <laughs> guitar. Lex Lightning strikes the guitar ghouls with his electric guitar of shiny diamonds, but as he does so, the force of his attack breaks his diamond pickguard attachment. He rolls a four and adds his reflex score of eight for total hit score of twelve. Uh, yes, so it only had one um, use, so it's broken now. They had 18 health points and now only have se 7 left. So it's their turn to attack, so I will, I will uh, hide behind an amplifier. So as the guitar ghouls launch their attack, Lex Lightning quickly runs behind an amplifier, using it as cover. The guitar ghouls rolls a 1 and adds their reflex of 2 for total to hit score of 3. But Lex quick thinking saves him once again. He defends himself with his trusty flannel shirt of love, rolling a 9 and adding his reflex of 8 for total to block score of 17. So they miss. Okay, then I attack again with my... Diamond guitar. He rolls a one and adds reflex of eight for total to score of nine, and they have eight, so I hit them. Adds his power score of seven for total score of ten. The guitar ghouls deduct their bodies, so they are now killed. The guitar ghouls are killed, and Lex emerges victorious. He takes a moment to catch his breath, feeling a sense of pride at having defeated such a formidable opponent. He knows that he must continue on his journey, facing whatever challenge lies ahead. So, I will pick up guitar pick holder. Yeah, so the, this didn't update correctly. Um, as you can see, um, it should have been zero. So, uh, small code things I need to fix, of course, like updating uh, the, the stats uh, right after a change has been made in the in the ammo, uh, like in the how many times you have left, uh, stuff like that. But yeah. So Lex Lightning picks up the guitar pick holder, examining it closely. The pick holder is made of sturdy material and has a sleek design, and its protective power catches Lex's eye. He knows that this item could give him an edge in future battles. Okay, so I will go up. As Lex Lightning climbs up the next level of the labyrinth, he enters a room filled with audio and visual equipment. The walls pulse with a neon glow, and the room echoes with the sound of the soundproof soldiers who are waiting for him. 
They stand tall and intimidating, their eyes fixed on Lex. As he looks around the room, Lex spots a diamond inlay fretboard, an attack, an attack weapon pickup that could give him an advantage in battle. Okay. So I will throw a bomb at their feet. Lex Lightning reaches into his inventory, pulls out a bomb of a million guitar licks. He lights the fuse and throws it at the feet of the soundproof soldiers, the bomb exploding, exploding in a shower of spark and smoke. The force of the explosion sends the soundproof soldiers reeling, their bodies shaking from the impact. So as the smoke clears, Lex sees that the soundproof soldiers have taken a significant damage from the bomb. They had 19 health and now only have 7 health left. Okay, so I will... Let's try some other commands. So what you can do is you can use a bomb, you can drink one of the potions, or you can also try to flee from uh, a fight. So let's try to flee cowardly back to previous room. Okay. As the soundproof soldiers try to attack, he quickly turns and flees the room. The soldiers, so this gives them a, a attack. A, a free attack if you try to flee. So, um, but they don't hit because they they get a total to hit score of ten, and we get one of thirteen. So you avoided that to damage. So Lex runs back to the previous room, feeling relieved to have escaped the battle unscathed. He finds himself back in the guitar gra guitar's graveyard with the remains of the guitar ghouls lying on the ground. Also, you can try to, let's say, we want to go east. There's no door to the east. So, as Lex Lightning tries to move east, he realizes that there is no door in that direction. He looks around the room, seeing only doors leading north and west. He knows he must choose a different direction if he hopes to continue on his journey. Uh, yes, so you can you can make a text game that is very um, alive and organic, which I really enjoy. It's very funny. Uh, you can you make some character, uh, and you can make any type of character you want, and it will really um, change change how the whole game feels. Even though it's the same game, it will really change the feel of the game. And I think that's really interesting. Um, and I can see in the future this being... Um, uh, I think there will be a lot of text-based role-playing games in the future as a result of this. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to playing them. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. If you want to try the game, you can uh, download the code on my GitHub uh, repo. Okay, bye-bye.